Good day, everyone. So today, this PPT will talk about dissociative disorder. The reporters will be Cal, Carvalho, and Uy. So let's discuss what is or what are dissociative disorders. So dissociative disorders are characterized by an involuntary escape from reality, characterized by a disconnection between thoughts, identity, consciousness, and memory. People from all age groups and racial, ethnic, and socioeconomic backgrounds can express a dissociative disorder. The symptoms of a dissociative disorder usually first develop as a response to a traumatic event, such as abuse or military combat to keep those memories under control. Stressful situation can worsen symptoms and cause problems with functioning in every activities. However, the symptoms a person experiences will depend on the type of dissociative disorder that a person has. So dissociative disorder, there are also types of it that you can identify when you are diagnosed. So what are the symptoms and signs of dissociative disorder? So it includes significant memory loss of specific times, people and event, out-of-body experiences, such as feeling as thought, thought, you are watching a movie of yourself, okay? And also mental health problems, such as depression, anxiety, and thoughts of suicide. A sense of detachment from your emotions or emotional numbness. And lastly, the lack of a sense of self-identity. And also this one, the prevalence of dissociative disorder. So the prevalence of dissociative disorders is how common this disorder are in given population. So in industrialized nation, the prevalence of dissociative disorder is estimated at 2.4% of the population. Dissociative disorders can develop in a wide variety of people and at any point in life. One commonality is that they usually develop in response to traumatic life event. Some dissociative disorder facts include, first, nearly half of all American adults exhibit symptoms of a dissociative disorder for a short period in their life. So it's usually when you were a child, so you can develop this kind of, I mean, that you, you will develop the dissociative disorder. So only 2% of this adult, as I've said before, develop a chronic dissociative disorder. In a clinical setting, the prevalence of dissociative disorders is estimated at nearly 10%. So people who use substances, uh, female prostitutes and exotic dancers report the highest rate of dissociative disorders compared to the members of the general population. So women are disproportionately impacted by dissociative disorders. So like I said before, women are more likely to be diagnosed with this disorder. So Asian and African Americans report higher rate, rates of dissociative disorder over their Caucasian American counterparts. Dissociative disorders commonly develop before the age of 20. These are the types of dissociative disorders. Number one is dissociative amnesia. Ang isa sa symptom pag na ay dissociative amnesia kay maglisod o hinumdom about sa important information about sa kaugalingon. Ang mga most likely nga dili mahinumduman sa isa ka na ay dissociative amnesia kay about mga na-experience niya nga war or abuse o pwede pod 
mga information about sa iyahang identity ug past. Pagmutukar ang isa ka amnestic episode kay unexpected siya. Lahi-lahi ang duration sa isa ka amnestic episode. Pwede siya mag-last og minutes, hours, days or pwede pod months and years. Ang dissociative amnesia kay walay gipili nga age sa pag-start. O pwede maka-experience ang isa ka tao o multiple episodes sa iyang kinabuhi. Ang sample na clinical case sa isa ka dissociative amnesia kay about kay Mississippi na isa ka 64-year-old widowed Filipino woman. Si Mississippi kay giaduan niya ang isa ka psychiatrist sa isa ka outpatient mental health clinic. Gitreatment siya before for depression and anxiety. Ang iyang mga symptoms kay anxious mood, insomnia, hypervigilant behavior, tearfulness, poor concentration, and feelings of palpitations. Ingon siya sa psychiatrist nga sa niagi daw nga year kay nahimo siyang mas makalimtanon o dali madistract. Malimta niya kung ahan niya ibutang iyang keys, pocket cash o uban mga butang. Daghan siya malimtan sa iyang gihimo. Another example kay magbalik-balik siya gligo bisan nakaligo na siya. Tungod anak nga mga behaviors, ang iyang younger son o close friend kay nipuyo na po ka uban niya para mo assist sa iya o magmonitor sa iyang pangbuhaton. Makita na to dali ang clinical case ang main symptom sa dissociative amnesia which is pagkalimot sa mga important information about sa kaugalingon o sa gipangbuhat. The second type to be discussed is depersonalization disorder. Kaninga disorder kay naga-involve og feelings nga ang life nga ilang gilive kay dili tinuod. Mura na sila gatan aw og movie. Ang naay depersonalization disorder kay pwede maka-experience og derealization or depersonalization or pwede po ang duha ang depersonalization kay ang feelings nga detach ka sa imong actions, feelings and thoughts ug sensations nga mura gatan aw kag movie ug ang derealization kay ang feeling nga ang people ug butang sa imong palibot kay dili tinuod Ang pinakasagara nga age nga maka-start ini nga disorder kay 16 years old. Ang atong sample clinical case about depersonalization disorder kay about sa 27-year-old housewife. Nga kalit maka-feel og change pagka humania og take Og Chinese herbs. Dili siya aware sa iyang surroundings o bisan kung mag-ulan para sa iya wala nag-ulan. After 2 to 3 months, kay gitreat siya para sa drug overdose which is resulta sa iyang secondary depression. Pagkahuman ana kay every time daw nga mutan aw siya sa iyang hand kay mo stretch iyang hand. Napod siya feelings nga wala siya nag-exist o di daw siya ka-feel o ganaan lang siya matulog. 
ang kanina clinical case kay nagapakita sa main symptom sa depersonalization disorder which is ang detachment sa iyang reality o feelings nga dili real ang nangahitabo sa iyang life. Ang third type nga atong i-discuss kay dissociative identity disorder. Dinatawag po siya as multiple personality disorder. Ang tawo nga na ay dissociative identity disorder kay maka-experience o alternating or puli-puli nga mga personalities nga mag-control sa iyaha. Pwede ma-feel sa tawo nga na ay one or more voices na nagatry o control sa iyaha. For example, si Nelson kay naa siya lahi nga identity nga angalan kay Tyler. Dayon, ang ang memories ni Nelson kay lahi sa memories kung siya si Tyler. Ang sample clinical case about dissociative identity disorder kay about siya sa isa ka 55 year old Caucasian female mutukar ang iyahang dissociative identity disorder kung naa siya sa emotional stress o naka drug siya aside sa iyahang 55 year old normal self kay naay lahi nga identities nga manggawas which are 7-year-old child, teenager, and a male person. Ma-aware lang daw siya nga na-dominate na siya sa iyang uban nga personality kung ignan siya sa uban tao nga nahitabok to. Mahitabok daw ni siya labinas during stressful situations and kung mag-take siya of drugs. Kani nga fenomenon kay involuntary o usahay lang siya makadumdum o memory about sa mga nanghitabo as her separate personalities. Ang fourth and last type to be discussed is called dissociative fugue. Kani nga dissociative disorder kay ang individual kay dili lang magkaamnesia pero napud siya buhaton nga muhawa siya sa ilang balay ug mag-assume og new identity ang sample case nato about sa dissociative fugue is about a 28 year old male nga naa sa final year sa pagka medical student Nagaskwila siya o puyo sa southeastern region of Nigeria. Nagstudy daw siya alone sa iyang room at tong gabi una, dayon, nakakita siya full human skeleton nga nagabasa kauban niya sa opposite side sa table. Kadto nga time, he feels uncomfortable and uneasy. Pagkahuman dayon daw kay iyang whole room kay nag-turn na himong unstable o unreal. Two days pagkahuman ad to kay na-aware na lang siya nga naan na siya kauban sa iyang younger sibling sa southwestern Nigeria. Wala siya kabalo di unsa niya pag-travel from southeastern Nigeria to southwestern Nigeria. Nakarealize na lang siya nga naabot na siya sa iyang brother's house which is 634 kilometers away. Ang kaninga clinical case kay nagpakita sa main symptom sa dissociative fugue which not only includes an episode of amnesia 
but also unexpected travels away from home. Good morning, sir. Good afternoon. My part of my report, it is theories. The first one, it is biological. While study on their involvement of genetic underplannings need additional research, there is some suggestion that heritability rates for dissociation, dissociation range from 50 to 60 percent. And the second one, the second one it is psychodynamic. Psychodynamic theory of dissociative disorder assume that dissociative disorder are caused by individuals repressed, repressed thought and feelings related to an unpleasant of or traumatic event. In blocking these thoughts and feelings that the individual in a subconsciously protecting himself from painful memories. For my understanding, psychodynamic theory explains personality in terms of unconscious psychological process, for example, wishes and fears of which we're not fully aware, and content that childhood experience of shaping adult personality. And the third one, it is sociocultural. This, this mass media production are not just suggestive to patients. It has been suggested the mass media also influence the way a clinician gather information regarding dissociative symptoms of patients. For example, therapists might unconscious unconsciously use question or technique in session that involve dissociative type of problems. In their patient following exposure that media start discussing a dissociative disorder. For my for my understanding social cultural theory it uh, is an emerging theory in psychology that look at the important contribution that society make to individual development. The theory stress in interaction between developing people and the culture in which they live. Treatment. The, uh, the effectiveness of treatment it is, uh, for dissociative disorder has not been studied. Treatment options are based on cases study not research. Um, generally speaking, treatment my type many years option might include uh, the first bullet. It is a safe environment. Um, doctor will try to get the person to feel safe and relaxed, which is enough to tiger memory. Uh, recall in some people with dissociative disorder, and the second bullet is psychiatric drugs. Uh, medication in psycho psychotactic drugs taken uh, exert uh, exert an effect on the chemical makeup of the brain and nervous system. Though these medications are used to treat mental illness, and <clears throat> the third bullet it is hypnosis. My health and recovery raised memories, although this from the treatment. For this dissociative disorder in concern considered uh, controversial for <clears throat> for my understanding of, about hypnosis is like mental state with people experience increase and tension concentration and su uh, suggestibility while hypnosis is often described as a sleep sleep like state it, it is better expressed as a state of focus and tension uh, suggested by uh, hypnosis. And the, and the fourth one is psycho, psychotherapy. 
also known as a talk therapy or counseling which is usually need needed for the long term example include cognitive therapy and psychoanalysis psychoanalysis um for under for my understanding about uh, about psychotherapy or talk therapy is a way to help people with broad variety of mental illness and emotional difficulties psychotherapy can help eliminate or control troubling symptoms so a person can function better and can increase well well being and healthy healing her problems and the the fifth the five it's stress management since stress can trigger symptoms it for my understanding for this i uh, was um stress manage manage management uh, was developed and uh, on uh, on the idea that stress is not direct per or respond to a, a stressor but rather one's resources and ability to such uh such as depression or anxiety treatment may include antidepressant or anti anxiety medication to try improve the symptom of dissociative disorder um about the treatment of other disorders is they have a uh, two types about that the treatment treatment for other dissociative uh this uh treatment for other disorders and they they uh they have a uh, two types of therapy are psychotherapy biomedical medical therapy both type of treatment help people with psychological disorders such as such as a depression anxiety that's all thank you